Story time. So peep this. About a month ago, I was hollering at the homie Bobby from Pipology, right? Bro hit me up with the, uh, hey, bro, I got this new strategy. By this time, I'm like, boy, if you don't get your big. He like, bro, I'm up 70 pips. I'm like, lies. Then he hit me again. Bro, I'm up another 100 pips. 100 dips? That boy count negative. By this time, I'm like, okay, I got to figure out what he talking about. Boy, when I tell you that strategy was like Jesus came down from heaven and said, My son. Yes, Lord. I need you to take this strategy and run up a bag. Yes, sir. The Wealthy Empire Network. What's going on, you guys? It's your boy, Jeremy Cash, live and direct with another valuable, valuable video for you. What's up, my family? It's lit. We done made money today. You feel me? This is what it's all about, but check this out, man. This strategy I'm gonna tell y'all about today, oh my God. We wanna talk about getting to this bag. Pause. So this is the method that I use to call out signals, right? So I called out a signal the other day with the same strategy. One of the group members called it in a demo, and this is what they had to say. Excuse the language. Yo, what's up, everybody at the Wealthy Empire Network? I just took that trade that uh, Wealthy Empire Network just gave right I'm so jumbled. I'm so excited. Check this out, y'all. I'm still in demo. I'm still learning. So I just took that trade that the brother dropped in Wealth Empire, Wealthy Empire Network, right? So I put 7-5 on that joint. He hopped out, but I stayed in. And check this shit out. Yo, I f*** with dude. I think I'm going to go live like real soon. I got like three Gs to throw in here, but I'm scared. But I'm about to take that plunge. Shout out to everybody in Wealthy Empire Network. Yo, I'm down with other networks, but you be on the money, yo. This cat be on the money. Other people ain't on the money like this cat. Yeah, I think I'm about to hop out of here. 1,200 plus and counting. Yo, this is a good day. All right, so look, I'm going to show you how to do it on the mobile first and foremost. All right. And I'm going to show you how to do y'all entries and y'all exits. A lot of y'all want to know how you enter a trade, how you exit. I'm going to show all of that in this video. So stay tuned. But before we get to that, make sure you like this video. You already know. Thumbs this video up. Get it to 1,000 likes like y'all always do because y'all lit like that. You know what I'm saying? And then make sure you go over there and subscribe to the Pipology page. Like, this money is burning a hole in my pocket. Okay, so let me just talk to y'all right quick, real quick. I got $3,000 right now that I'm trying to give away to y'all. It's burning a hole in your boy's pocket. I mess around, start buying my wife Chanel bags. Y'all didn't see me if y'all was on Instagram. I'm about to be spending y'all bread if y'all don't hurry up. You know what I'm saying? It's burning a hole in my pocket. But look, if you brand new, make sure you drop your cash apps, your Bitcoins, your PayPal's below. When I get paid from YouTube or Forex, I usually just give it back to my subscribers as a thank you, straight up. So I know y'all ready to see this strategy and it's lit and I hope you learn a lot. And it's time to run up a check. Let's go. Skirt, but hold up real quick. What? The strategy actually came from a subscriber. His name is Ryan uh, Rayfield Music on uh, YouTube. So shout outs to Ryan for the strategy, boy, because it's been blessing our lives. But let's get to the video. Yo, guys, so I wanted to show you exactly how to do this on the mobile, all right? So right now, I'm on the MetaTrader 4 app. If you don't know how to get it, you can go to the app store on your phone, type in MetaTrader 4, you'll be able to download it, okay? As soon as you download it, I'm not going to show you how to set it up because, you know, we got other videos on YouTube for that. But I'm just going to show you how I trade on the mobile. OK, so if I do this, I click on quotes. This is the screen that I'm on now. This is the screen that tells me the spread right here at the bottom. Right. It also tells me the different currency pairs that I'm in. All right. Um, and all this other, you know, the, the price action, all that. All right. So I'm going to click on GU, which is my favorite pair right at the gate i already see a setup i already see a setup happening that i could potentially get in i'll tell you about that in just a minute all right so real quick what i'm using on my chart is what we call the alligator and the rsi the rsi is down here at the bottom and the alligator is these three moving averages right here if you want to know how to get the alligator i absolutely love this strategy as well uh it helps me call out signals and all kinds of stuff all right so uh let me click on i'll tap the screen and i'll click the f over here in the corner all right so you should have a little f on your phone to be able to get to these you know indicators and stuff like that 
the first thing you want to do is click this F right here, this blue F to your right of the screen. You want to click that. You want to scroll all the way down until you get to the alligator. Okay. Once you get to the alligator, you click it. You don't change any of these numbers. You don't change any of the colors. You just click set as default and done. That's it. All right. And you just let it come standard. So the rule of thumb on the alligator is when the green line crosses the red line, it's over. It's game time. It's time to get this money. That's the rule. All right. So whether it crosses below or above, it's time to get this money. If it crosses the red and the blue, you know, you really, really in the money. All right. So let me let me back test this. I'm going to show you right here right quick. So just to give you guys an example, a real quick example. All right. So anytime like I'm going to show you right here, the green line crossed the red one. So guess what time it was? It was buy time. So if you would have bought as soon as it crossed, right and you would have bought like right in here when it crossed you would have rolled it up for this many pips bingo all right then it came back and it crossed the red if you would have got in here on a sale you would have been in a little bit of drawdown right here but then you would have caught all of these pips all the way down here and vice versa all right so let me show you what i see right quick let me show you what i see right now what i see right now is an m because if I if I stretch this back, what I did see before was a W. So peep this. This complete drop that you can see right here that I'm showing on the screen, this complete drop right here, all right, came up, down, and then up. That was the W, right? If you missed that, after that, a M is starting to form. Peep this. So this was the first leg of the M right here. If you guys can see this, this was the first leg of the M comes down, comes up, and it's getting ready to cross and come down again. So my setup would be right in here. The moment this green line right here crosses this red one, I'm, I can get in on a sale and I can call this signal out, all right? And they cross the blue, we can hold even longer. Usually, you know, you have to look to the left of the chart to see what happened in order to kind of determine what the right side is gonna do, but you always wanna wait for confirmation. You don't wanna just jump right in. When you see it, you wanna make sure they cross, okay? And then you wanna get in, all right? And you can also line that up with the RSI and things like that. Uh, but as soon as that cross, I would get in, set my stop loss a little above, about 10, 15 pips above, and then I would let it ride all the way to about right in here, all right, before it bounces back. So that's how I would do that. All right. So just to show you another one, you know, it happens all the time, guys. If you if you can see it, you can trade it. I promise you. So this is kind of how I do it on the phone. I'm telling you, it's easy. It's money everywhere. It's, it's jackpot money everywhere. You feel me? So check this out. Same thing here. So let's say, all right, right here. Boom. I see a crossover. All right. Cross the red right here. So if you would have got in on a buy right in here, you would have caught all these pips all the way up here. And then this is where the market closed, I think on like a Friday and it opened back up so it makes that gap. But then if you would have caught that too, you know what I mean? But you could at least caught a lot of this, a lot of this action right here. You know, could have rolled that thing for a couple of days or whatever, made some money. All right, now, same thing here. I know y'all see this M though. Y'all see the M. So that would have already been something I would have got in on. But if I wasn't sure, I would have waited to the green, crossed the red, and then I would have sold right in here. And I could have rolled this the rest of the way down. Then it crossed that blue, so I knew it was a go time. I could have rolled that all the way down to about here. All right. Or you could just ride it all the way down until it crosses back over and get out. Because the fact that you got in up here, you're still going to be in the money even if it does cross over and then you can get back out. But if it doesn't cross over, you're really good. You know what I mean? If it crosses back over, then you're like, okay, let me get out. So that's a good exit point when it crosses back over. All right, so let's look at some other pairs uh, right quick and let me see if I'm able to find some other setup. I mean, because you could do it with anything. So I'm going to do USD JPY. Same thing. All right. So right now, I will be looking for a potential setup on here, but I will wait. You know what I mean? This is something I will wait on. Now, like I said, if you want to. Uh, I'm on the H4 because I usually call my signals on the H4. But if you want to go to the 15 minute and all that kind of stuff, you could do the same thing. All right. But 
I mean, this stuff works like, like magic, man. And I'm gonna show you a trade I got in yesterday, matter of fact, using the alligator. It was actually on the GU, so I'm gonna show you that after this again, but let me show you. <clears throat> all right, so rule of thumb again, right? The moment it crosses, all right, you see that? It crossed right here. It crossed going up. You could have caught this, caught these pips up. You would have came down. If you would have got in right here, you would have been, uh, you wouldn't, you would have still been in the money, but you would have been, you know, not in as much money. But then if you would have held it, you would have rolled it all the way back up here because you see it didn't cross yet. So you was good. As long as it didn't cross, you good. All right. So you could have stayed in all the way up here, all the way up here, and it didn't cross until right here. So you, this would have been a good exit point. You know what I'm saying? If you like to hold your trades like me, myself, I'm a scalper, so I don't really hold my trades that long. But, you know, if you're somebody who wants to hold their trades, it's always a good indicator to do to use. All right. You know, uh, so I, I usually try to look for the, the obvious ones. Usually if, um, you know, these these cross and, and it's not really a gap because you usually kind of want this gap in between to give you some space to let you know what it's doing. Usually when it's a lot of consolidation. It's still, you know, because uh, let's say you it crossed here and you got in on the sell. Yeah, you would have caught this little bit. You would have went back up to pretty much break even right here. And then you would have caught the rest of this going down. So if you wanted to wait, you could have just waited until about to it crossed the blue. Right. You could have waited until it crossed the blue and then you could have got in on the sell. This would have been a good entry point right here. You could have rolled that down. Rolled it all the way down, kept going until it crossed back over. And it didn't cross back over until right here. So this would have been a cool exit point. All right. Now, this kind of stuff is something you may have to monitor. But at least if you're doing a four hour, you at least got four hours until it gets to the next, you know, uh, candlestick. So, I mean, this is a few days or maybe a week's, a couple weeks or whatever. But, you know, you could have been able to do it like that. All right. So that's the usd jpy so i just want you to see it same way on the 15 if you somebody who likes to trade the 15 minute chart exact same thing guys this alligator strategy is lit um it's something you can use on your computer i use it on the computer and i use it also on the uh the uh phone all right so same same way here we just going over the strategy because i want to make sure y'all get this i want y'all to test it out get this money easy money all right so peep this so the market, boom, it drops. So this, like I said, this is definitely good for like people who are new or people who just kind of really don't know when to get in the market, when not to get in. So this is always a good indicator when to get in. All right, as you can see, the market started coming down. It crossed the red. So what does that mean? Boom, that means sell. So as soon as it crossed this red right here, I would have got in on a sell. Drop down, came back and retested, kept dropping, kept dropping kept dropping it didn't cross you know what i mean it didn't cross until about that don't even count because it was a fake it was a fake out kept going crossed about right here so you could have got you could have exited right here if you were somebody who wanted to hold your trade for a long time so that means you got in up here to here that's a, that's a pretty good amount of pips you know what i'm saying we catching pips baby because pipping ain't easy you feel me pipping ain't easy all right, so let me go to one more pair just to make sure y'all got this because I'm sure y'all got it by now. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go to uh, gold. Let me see if gold worked the same way. Open. Boom. Gold worked the same way, but gold, gold is super volatile. I know a lot of y'all like trading gold. Gold be moving, moving. You know what I'm saying? So this is on the 15-minute. Um, typically, I, I like to call my stuff like on the four-hour because it just moves slower. 15-minute uh, be moving, moving, especially with gold, but you know. Trade gold at your own risk is what I'm saying. All right, so same thing. Y'all see it? All right, so quiz. I'm about to quiz y'all. You feel me? I'm about to quiz y'all real quick. All right, so boom, right here. What are we looking at? Uh, green cross the red. What time is it? Buy time. Let's get this money. All right, so could have got in on the buy right at the cross. Boom. Would have rolled that thing on up all the way up to here. You could have really kept riding it to about up here. You'd have, you'd have been losing a little bit. Of, you wouldn't have been losing, but you would have still been in profit, but your money would have been deducting about right here. And then on that crossover, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? But uh, maybe really before then, because uh, you see it drop way down here. But, you know, y'all get the point. And that's low-key an M2 right there. Boom. And so uh, then also another thing y'all can do um, is just a little bit of support and resistance, y'all. 
Um, so I'm gonna show y'all that real quick and then that should be pretty much good. I'm pretty sure y'all be golden after that. But real quick, let me show y'all the trade I had got in uh, with the alligator yesterday. So let me show y'all uh, charts, my history. Let me go to my history right quick. All right, so this is my history. This is a trade that I had took yesterday. The uh, the GU, right? I took this trade yesterday, made 300 and something dollars. This was a long-term trade I was testing down here. That's why I lost these, but yeah, it was taking too long for you, boy. I'm trying to get in and out. <laughs> All right, so, but yeah, I took this trade on the uh, GU. So let me go back to the chart so I can show y'all. All right, so when I go to... Let me go back here to GU right quick. Boom. GBP USD. I was on the H1 when I when I took this trade. And this is where I took it at, y'all. I took it right here. Boom. All right. So I took it literally right here and I caught this small drop. Right. I could have stayed in longer, but I was good. You know what I'm saying? I'm in and out. You y'all know me, so I catch a few pips and I'm out. But I it crossed right here. It dropped. I caught that whole drop. Well, not really the whole thing. I really caught like about right here. Cause if I'd have held it longer, I probably could have got like a thousand dollars to be honest. But cause I was using the uh, two standards, so I really could have got up to at least a thousand dollars. But I, I just got out. But um, cause I'm scalping. But yeah, I caught it right here at the cross drop. Boom, and I was out. Got my money out of there. So this strategy works. It works big time. All right. So real quick, now let me go to support and resistance. Yeah, so for support and resistance, I used to go to the daily chart first. All right, so I click on, boom, I click on the screen. I click select these shapes. I click horizontal line. All right, and then I find a point in the market where you got a lot of touches, right? So I see the market couldn't break through these points right here. So this is one of my lines right here, boom. All right, so it tried to touch in here. Tried to touch. I could even move it up even further if I wanted to, but I think I'm gonna leave that alone. All right. Then I find another point where the market kind of touched at the same place. All right. So what I'm looking at right now is where it's at. So I do touch my screen again, select another one, horizontal line, and then I'm placing that thing right up in here because it did another three touches. Boom. So what I see is the market has not broke through these levels just yet. All right. So what it's doing is consolidating. So it's bouncing around this area here and it's going to either break through or drop. So I'm usually waiting. So this is the daily, right? After I go to the daily with that, I go back to the four hour. And now I can see what the market is doing. So I can see down here, it bounced from the floor to the ceiling. So it bounced here, bounced here, came up, touched here, didn't break through, came down, came back up, tried to touch again, didn't break through. So logical reaction is once this cross here, just like I said earlier, you line that up together. Once this cross here, then we know it's already go time because it ain't breaking through here, right? from what it's been showing. It's not gonna break through. This is an M, of course, I already showed y'all that, but now we know, okay, for real, it's really coming down. So I can hit sell, boom, and we're gonna ride that thing back down here. Now, what you could do also is if you wanna make a smaller level, uh, just to catch a few pips, that's what you can do. You tap the screen, you get you another horizontal line, all right? So I'm gonna add one more, and then I'm gonna place that around, probably somewhere around in here because it's looking like this is kind of where the market touched a little bit at too as well. All right, so now we at least know we can ride it from here to at least here. And then if it decides to break this, you know, with the alligator as well, then we know we can ride it all the way down to potentially here, right? So you might have, you know, might come down like this, might go up a little bit, might come down, up, down, up until it reaches that point. But you know, that's something you could do long term. But this is something I may call out in the signal group, y'all. So this is how you trade on your phone. This is how I usually trade. And like I said, you can go back even further. Like you can go back to the um, the 30 minute with the same support and resistance lines to see what it's doing. You can make even smaller lines, you know, seeing that it, where it's bouncing around it. Like it looked like it bounced around a little bit in here. You know what I'm saying? A little bit in here. So you just set your support and resistance lines up. 
see where the market is look like it bounced uh around a little bit in here so real quick if you wanted to add more you just go and you add more boom you add more you know at the at the places that it's touching at you know what i'm saying so you know okay it could potentially hit here boom and bounce back down boom come back up try again so this is kind of how you trade on your phone uh how i trade on my phone let me say that um and uh hopefully this video helped y'all man and if it did give your boy a thumbs up or whatever you know what i'm saying go make this money pipping ain't easy but somebody gotta catch these pips y'all that's my new slogan i'm about to start saying that every video let's get it but yeah man hopefully they help and uh, i'll see y'all in another video peace